this. <laughs> yeah, but like when They're it's a ugly. big, big fluffy dog or a nice, you know, sized kitten, you're like, oh, that's adorable. Can I touch it? Yeah. yeah. But when they got like this, like this little this, rat dog, it's not even yeah. like a cute puppy. It's mm-hmm. like it's a full grown chihuahua, and you're like, dude, its eyes are bright is, red. And them nasty. things be bugging. Gums are them all. Them things is swollen. out there. My man, eyes are like. My man's can see into the future. He like, he reading right your you, future. Like, look, he like bro, you gonna, he like bro, you gonna die in forty seven years. You gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> that's why. Oh my gosh, maybe that's why. In their eyes, any dog thing. that I think is gonna sound like George Lopez. <laughs> I don't know. Stop. Do. What episode? Um, seven? Eight. Is it? Eight now, yes. Well, eight, because I haven't put seven up as of this recording, but oh it'll be word. up before this recording goes out. So. I'm wild. Yep, episode eight. We have now our third in person guest. Uh, we had Andrew, and then Sarah. And episode eight, we have here in the studio Michael. Michael, everybody. Wow. So. <laughs> eventually we'll have people that we don't work with or work you know alongside in, in any way but so what you're saying is you'll have cooler people on <laughs> we'll have people that aren't related to the workplace eventually Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. from the war zone yeah we'll hire uh, we'll hire actors low-key yeah. actors of course we can only afford so much well, i was watching this show it's called nathan for you and oh my god, like, I love that show. Oh, dude, I Nathan love that. Fielder? I just oh started god. watching mm-hmm. it, but yeah. one of the episodes where he's like, "All right, for the funeral homes, we gotta make them feel like they were good people, so we'll hire actors to pretend that they know them." Uh... <laughs> and so he wrote a script for some of the actors, and the script said, "You are sad. You are very, very sad." And so the guy goes up, one of the actors, and he's like. That guy gave me a thousand bucks one time for no reason. He was such a good guy, and I'm sad. I'm very, <laughs> very, very sad. I, I like that show because it's a good concept. It's like this guy who goes around like, uh, what's that other show? Um, um, uh, the Prophet. Have you ever seen The Prophet? Um, uh, no. It's like an NBC show. It's like a guy who goes around and um, talks to people with, um, with like, Failing businesses oh. and, and tells them how to improve, and they can I'll either take they can take his advice or not. It's kind of like undercover boss, but instead of being undercover, he just straight up goes in there and be like, "You're doing this shit wrong. I can help you, or, or you go, can or go fuck yourself, basically." Like a corporate but, version of Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, pretty, yeah, that's what it pretty is. Pretty much, yeah. He goes into say. a restaurant or, or whatever, and he has a show of his own. Uh, Gordon Ramsay does that too, but mm. the Prophet he does that, and, and, and Nathan for you, it's the Comedy Central like spinoff version where he goes. And he's like, um, I see you have this amazing idea. We can make it better. Or he has his own idea or whatever. But what I love about it most is that he's just so like emotionless <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> like he never smiles, nothing. He's just yeah, kind of like. There was uh, one time that he broke character. It was when he was uh, making the one guy sell gas for $1.75 when it was like four fifty at the time. And he was like, here's the deal. If you want the one seventy five, you got to claim the rebate. Hmm. And so at the end of the episode, he like was talking with some of the people over the show how there was like this myth that drinking like young children's urine is like super healthy. Mm. So then he went to the <laughs> the guy that owns the gas station. He's like, dude, I've met some weird people. And there's this one guy talking about how drinking young kids urine is like super healthy. And then the gas station guy's like, oh, yeah, that's that's real. Like, you should drink my grandson's urine. Oh, and then Nathan just like <laughs> he was so taken back. They started, oh, no. he, he like broke a smile. Oh, <laughs> it was really funny. So they had like real people in that, too. Right. It's not all um, it's not all actors. It's yeah, kind of, it's no, kind of it's... like Eric Andre, where it's almost like a prank show in some ways because they'll bring in real people on these business ventures. And be yeah, like, what are we doing? I don't think it's, I don't think it's staged <laughs> yeah, at yeah. all. I think it's like he finds people that are uneducated or gullible, and he just or you know. they're putting out like Craigslist ads, like like Eric Andre for like looking for somebody who wants to embark on a business venture or looking for somebody who wants to play in a band mm-hmm. on our show, you know, mm-hmm. in, in Hollywood, and. That always makes for great, you know, great TV. It's great entertainment value. I feel bad watching it sometimes because yeah. he definitely 
kind of screws over some of the people <laughs> because some of them don't speak like English well. There's like oh, this guy yeah. that said he, on his thing, it said best burgers in LA. Uh-huh. And so he's like, all right, here's the idea. And the idea was <laughs> terrible. And the guy was like, okay. Yeah. And he's like, whatever you say, you got cameras and uh, money. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it. Oh, no. What would you do, Lorenzo, if somebody, <laughs> if you saw like an ad put out in a newspaper on Craigslist, like you took up odd jobs and you saw like an ad for a TV show like that, what would you do? Would you take it just because? Are, they, are they paying me? I mean, yeah, I assume so. What's the salary? Right, though. I remember it's not a salary. It's like a stipend. You'll get like, you know, 500 bucks if you make an appearance on Deal. That's 500 bucks more yeah. than I got. And they don't now. tell you what the show is. They don't tell you if you're going to be the butt of a joke. They don't tell you if you're going to look terrible. Hey, man, I'm a joke for free every day. <laughs> you just sign something and, and take the money and do whatever. <laughs> and they're making you go on like a 20 mile hike or like tasting the flavor of poo or something like that. Uh, like, and if you don't do it, do. you don't get the money and you wasted your time. So. Yeah. You know. It's a little bit of life experience, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, you're, you're willing to try anything once. <laughs> I mean, like not to taste the poo, but <laughs> I mean, you say that like you would take the opportunity, but like, I mean, I probably would too, but yeah. I would definitely be nervous because some of these shows they make people look like really, really look, like, yeah. wow, really dumb. Like you're saying, like yeah. they make this guy who doesn't speak English look like stupid look irregular yeah, <laughs> because know. you can't i'd probably want more details but i would definitely take the 500 yeah no yeah. there's no details at all it could be you know a prank show it could be we'd find out when we get there it'd be an we'd extra a drama something i'd love to be an extra because you get do you get paid as an extra yeah uh and sometimes no mm. I'd really stick out. You know how some extras really try to stick out? You know what I'm saying? I'd be yeah. in the back doing like crazy <laughs> stuff. Well, they'll probably flips. just Photoshop you out, you know? Damn. Like, scrub I mean, you out of the, the final cut. Bare minimum, I would just like stand still and be like. It'd be in an Avengers movie. Aliens are attacking. I will like. I feel like I could really stand out in something like that. I don't know. Oh, no. The aliens. <laughs> they're attacking. <laughs> All right. Do I get paid now? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. I, I think being an extra would be cool, but I don't think it'd be worth the time because sometimes you'll be like, I mean, it would be cool to do once. I've never done it. It would be cool to be on like a movie set and and be a part of something like mm-hmm. a big production, but I don't know. I wouldn't do too many just because you'll be shooting scenes or, or sitting in the background of scenes that are going on for hours and, and hours sometimes, especially mm-hmm. like you were saying, like in the desert or something or like, you know, in some harsh circumstances you could be just sitting there literally doing nothing for for like 12 hours like a half a day you know and you'll you're take breaks wrong. or whatever to drink water but it's not like you're the main event you're, they're not going to give you they're food not catering or, to you no, like that you get 80 bucks feed. and you got to sit on your ass until we shoot this they scene. Don't feed the extras. <laughs> i think i've heard stories of like main actors actually kind of not even getting that that the quality stuff I think Ooh. one time they, I think for like the Ninja Turtle movie, which was a bad movie, so kind of <laughs> understandable. Um, but I think the guy who played Raphael was like telling a story of how they're like, yeah, you know, they didn't even like give us rides back to our, like our homes or trailers or wherever. Well, that's different because are you talking about the guy who did the motion capture or the or the voice? I don't know. I was just watching the movie. I mean, because either way, I don't think anybody gives a fuck about either of those yeah. people. <laughs> you don't know what either of them look like. <laughs> You definitely don't know their name or, or I mean, anything. So. I feel like if he's like, if they've already released the trailer, but they're still filming, and yeah. he just drops out, that can that's yeah, a lot of power. Right really though, though? could yeah. you really detect the different? They they would definitely find somebody who has a I close mean, enough voice. Or yeah, but like, have you seen? There's like a lot of things that people notice, like that Sonic the Hedgehog movie where they're like complaining I about like his appearance. So then they changed the entire yeah. thing. Like, well, that's one thing. But I'm saying these are people that you don't even see the appearance of, mm-hmm. and you're only hearing their voice. And they could definitely find somebody to like match their Echo voice as closely voice. as possible. That's, that's true because he's a whole he like. Raphael's got a so there's no voice. incentive for them to treat the voice actors or the fucking. <laughs> I just would hate to be an actor in general. Like, yeah, I, would I don't think anything's like really what? good. I like, I want to, I'd like do my own skits and stuff. I guess, you don't think but like, anything's really good. You like getting no, no, millions I think of dollars the life for... is nice, but I don't think there's a lot of good it's things a that lot like of work end up for actors and stuff like that. What? 
I mean, it matters. Like, um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's a few actors that like their careers are real successful. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, at least their acting careers. Like Will Smith, he's got a good acting career. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's oh, he's doing yeah, really well. He's doing good. I think there's like there is this like caution for actors so like you gotta watch what you say you gotta watch what you do you're always being yeah. watched and then, yeah you know your kids could end up you know actors too so then you either groom them or you like don't want them to be part that's of every it. like there's like um, a lot of trouble with like being an actor sometimes that's, true. that's every public personality though yeah, you know whether you're a people. politician or a celebrity of any kind that's those are the very same you know mm -hmm. uh dangers mm -hmm. of it but i don't know being an actor is like above all of those because you get to do politics, right? You get mm -hmm. to be on Twitter on your ass saying whatever the fuck, and yeah, sure you get canceled or whatever. But you could come right back with a movie or with a commercial or with something and, if, and just win if everybody they bring over you again. Back though, you no, know but what they saying? but they always do, especially if you're good enough. And I mean, it depends because you have to yeah. build up that reputation to be that actor, like the yeah. good actor. Cause yeah, because like, you, you can't start out you can't just be coming into it and then try to be wow because they we won't get shut down they never come well, yeah, back yeah that's but that's everything you mm -hmm. couldn't get into any job and be like y'all suck these are my <laughs> now hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up i think Can't, it's uh, rough because it's like you know you gotta you have to work hard just to voice Raphael, let alone yeah. be like you know will smith yeah so then once you get there yeah it's awesome but like you know sometimes you don't get the hors d'oeuvres or the you don't nice get the snacks. perks yet. You got to work up okay, to it. Okay, so what? There's people yeah. in coal mines, and they're dying to do that shit, you know? <laughs> like, you got a point. So <laughs> being mm -hmm. an actor is like, for me, that's like easy money right there. Yeah. The, but it does take a lot of dedication to, to yeah. go through with it, for sure, because you got to go through all these bullshit art schools and then take all these... Like you said, like these yeah, bad ad, bad jobs, and and get a get a, a repertoire going for you, get credits and things. Uh, but that's just like anything, performance wise. You gotta get you gotta get credits. You gotta get experience. You gotta be able to talk to somebody, and they have to know who you are. If you if you're still explaining who you are to people, you're not gonna get anywhere. You're gonna constantly right. be climbing up the, yeah. the ladder. But I, I feel like in the mainstream. It, these people who do clear it, clear the 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 glass ceiling. Yeah, they're, they're just riding nice. high. You know, they don't they get to make one or two movies a year, and then that's that's the next decade they for them. Say, yeah, you know, that's like several million dollars. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I was thinking about it from like the superstars' perspective. I would much rather be an actor, but definitely not a starving actor. Mm. Know, that that would be terrible. And you got to be severely mentally ill I th or irregular to, <laughs> to um, we're trying to use better words or I'm, I'm trying to use better words personally than the ones I would prefer to use. But. When's the last Johnny Depp movie y'all seen though? Um, like the most recent or just the like one the, that the last one that you know that came out? The, um, the second Alice in Wonderland. How long ago is that? I don't know. Be like. Six. Well, that's different. That's going off what you said. He's kind of getting canceled currently because yeah. he's like a wife beater. No, no, no. They, but the thing was, she was split. hitting him. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. But my point is, what I just said is yeah. what people believe, and he's yeah. not coming back right now. That's yeah. That's <laughs> a, yeah. The that's all. Opinion was like kind of fifty fifty because a lot of people were like Johnny, like Johnny Depp. But then, yeah. like, what did, what happened? Did this lady shit in his bed? Is that what happened? And then no, and, so and then he no, slapped her so, a uh, bit. so apparently, at least the information that I have is that she was beating him, and then said that he was doing it to her, which is something that I'm aware that women do at times. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Not all women, of course, but like it's something that happens. You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. lot of they like the the society like shits on women, and then they give them that one type of benefit where it's like but if you lie on a man then you're fucking good to go we don't give a shit but they'll like fucking oppress them in all those other many ways and you know what i'm saying it's like uh it's like with the whole black lives matter movements and it's like uh we're not gonna arrest these cops but we're gonna replace these fucking black cartoon characters with uh black voices now <laughs> you know they they give them they will oppress you and we'll Isn't give you enough? some kind of bullshit are you not fucking we'll give you some now? kind of bullshit fucking crumbs cleveland is a black guy now. <laughs> are you the happy? they always throw you that bone that kind of insults yeah. it's you. like i don't yeah oh no so there's this one shooting it was years ago in florida 
this these cops shot this man in his garage in front of his wife and kids, and they sent him four fucking dollars for his and he he ain't do shit. They sent him four dollars. The fucking the state or whatever. <laughs> they sent him four dollars. His family, his wife and his two kids. That can't be right. No, I yeah. Refuse to believe they shot this man in his garage. He ain't even do shit. Just take Cleveland, okay? Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Four dollars, <laughs> bro. I come back from the dead, and now I blew the <laughs> That's so insulting. I mean, that's $4, that's so insulting. No. You think about no. the taxes. No. Like that, no. Know, that's nothing. The Lorenzo uh, theology, four. which is do you that's want... $4 dollars more than I started with. Do you want $4,000 and then you have to give, like, you know, for somebody's. Of that back in taxes? For no, somebody, want, for an innocent $4, man. So you only give like, a few cents back. You know what I mean? Like, you get to keep most of that. You get three fifty. You get three fifty. That's a deal, right? There. That's a steal and a half. Wait, did they give it like in cash or did they give it like? I think it was a check. I think it was a check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a check. You can't use this right away now, bro. But that's gas money. You gotta go deposit it. You're getting like ten cents. Imagine going to Seven Eleven. You guys take checks. I got a four dollar check from the state. I am paralyzed from the waist down. No, they killed him. They killed him. They killed him. They sent it to his family. Yeah. His wife and his two kids after they killed him. Wow. Yeah. In his own garage, they just came up and shot him. That's... And they sent a $4 check to his wife and his two kids Hmm. after they killed their husband and their dad. And they were young kids. They were like six and four or something. They weren't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's extremely assaulting. They don't even know they're getting paid. (laughs) No. They never never going to know. They never go and though. I bet the moms met was mad stress. It's been a few years, but I imagine you know what I'm saying it takes a while to come back from something like that because we've all got like childhood issues still. Because I mean, sometimes we, you can't like if he's yeah, like the that's the crazy one that's bringing in the money and you have like kids that young. Yeah, like, I don't see how a fucking a four dollar check, bro. Like, you ain't even got time to worry about that shit. That shit would go in a shredder yeah, or something. Get a job. You don't have time to try and cast that shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you need real money. Yes, yes. Imagine yeah. working for the state and you're like, oh, this is so awkward, but I just got to wait out till they replace Cleveland's voice actor. Sure. <laughs> I can't. I, can't. <laughs> I was going to say, I think after hearing that, and it's as depressing as it is, I think you should get Cleveland and Rollo right now. I think you should get both. <laughs> just yeah. because I, I don't know how to, how to straighten this out, you know? There's no <laughs> real way. There's no equivalent. To... What do you think is going to happen to Derek uh, Chauvin right now, the cop that killed George Was he Floyd? Already, uh, yeah, already there's dude. a trial going on right now, yeah. currently. It's still going on. It's ongoing, yeah. They, because uh, I, I remember going. from what I heard last, they, uh, the, you know, the, the, the big, the big pig, you know what I'm saying? He was like, uh, he, he was saying that they did uh, use excessive force and they're also supposed yeah. to report to their captain or whatever when mm-hmm. they're using excessive force. But they didn't do that, no, they like didn't. at all, you know. Yeah. So yeah, they're the police chief or whoever. The big pig. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm trying to do a show here. <laughs> Remember that door. business Top about of, getting Top canceled and starving actors and all that? Listen, please. Hey man, we gonna get hey, we gonna lose some support, but we gonna get a <laughs> lot said more. He you know what I'm George saying? George Floyd, is that enough? He, I'm saying he he, he, he killed he did. these people that want to be like Murderers. okay, well, he died of a, a meth overdose or you those know people heart are racist. complications as a result of those the drugs. Are, he was, those are racist people. Hey, fuck you, first but, of all. Yeah. Like <laughs> you saw the video, I mean, he wouldn't have died if. Even if, if he, he didn't, that, even yeah, he was chilling. He was he exactly. was just living his life. Let him die when he's not on the ground with a fucking knee on his neck. Let yeah. him die of a drug overdose or heart complications. Then you know, but all the compounding factors, they say it's like uh, the 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 initial autopsy report said he died of deprivation or or mm-hmm. or, or, or of 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 causes uh, resembling. Uh, those stemming from deprivation of, of, of air, of yeah. oxygen, uh, a.k.a. asphyxia, right? Yeah. He got choked. He got choked yeah. out. And then all the shit that killed him happened after he got choked out. Yeah. So don't sit here and tell anybody that, you know, he died of his fucking, of his health conditions prior. Yeah. Nobody should be on the ground it, for that whole fuck, to, to they... shoot a whole fucking infomercial. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, what's his name? Billy, Billy Blanks. <laughs> Billy, Billy Mays, yeah, uh, Billy. Uh, Billy Mays Billy commercial, Mays. long length of you being on the ground under somebody's knee. 
I think that's just a distraction. That's way, crazy. Because like, it doesn't change the fact of what they did. And also, like, exactly. You know. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, but pe- pe- name me somebody else who's going to be put under that circumstance. Mm. Maybe and, then, and then when you do, uh, name me somebody who, who's not black, too. If I see a Susan under those same circumstances, then, I'll let y'all live. I'll yeah, give you then, your piece. And then if Susan dies of complications related to her diabetes, then, <laughs> then maybe I'll re- rethink. I just I'll re- <laughs> rethink my position. Hey, you know Susan don't season her food. She don't. No, she ain't got no. She's good. She eats kale. She ain't got no diabetes. Kale smoothies, and she take the chicken straight out the pack, straight into no. water. No Absolutely season. Good. Don't wash it. Just boil it straight like that. Oh my it's just it's wild to me the lengths people will go to justify you know okay he died so what it's like the gun the shootings mm. going on there's a shooting like yesterday and the day before that there's one in Texas there's one in South Carolina like five people eight people dead then there's this, the spa thing how many people died no one's trying to take your fucking guns chill <laughs> out we're trying to keep these fucking insane freaks yeah. from killing people with guns yeah, we like <laughs> and we got to take more measures to stop that from no, happening because at no... this rate people are dying by guns every single day in this country and mm. it, it, it's wild you don't even think of it like that but that is what's happening and until we treat it the same way we treated covid you know that it's an emergency shit's not gonna happen because people this is what happens it's, and i'm sorry i'm going on a tangent now i'm getting i'm getting I love excited it. i'm, I'm getting excited hyper now. <laughs> but Political. <laughs> not political even. I'm not I didn't say Yeah, I know. I, know. I haven't said not one one person's name other than who's dying and and what's killing people. They they the same wings on one bird, you know what I'm saying? People are so afraid the globalists are going to take your guns and 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 it, there's not going to be any way to to revolt, right? There's plenty of ways to revolt. We saw that shit at the Capitol. Y'all didn't they, have to use it, guys. Right Y'all got there. your asses shot. They <laughs> so. already they made sure we not gonna revolt. That's what the social media and you all made, that's for. Like, we did not, you see that? They yeah, did, they yeah. didn't have to shoot that one damn right person though. to get all the way up inside yes, the Capitol. Yes, they was in there, and then they started so, shooting when they got in there. Oh no, they didn't. They didn't. No, they got. Well, well hold they up. Got, How they killed like one or two people, didn't they? I mean, not or did they not shoot them? Not by shooting at them. No, people yeah. died. They from trampled them or something. Yeah, yeah. The little chicken wing, the little angry bird. <laughs> the, you know, the oh, little bro. angry bird. That one, that one capital officer died of his yeah. head injury sustained by like a fire hydrant or something, and then mm. um, yeah, they they grabbed some cops. They was and then somebody killed himself. Yeah, that's the thing too. So yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? You you know you stressing me when I get pulled over, but like. How are you letting people run up on you and take you over like that? So that's what I, that was my point is that people are afraid that if we implement more gun laws and more uh, more background checks, more more um, what do you call it, more barriers to the entry of gun ownership, if we implement more of those things, then it'll be harder for people to to embrace their second amendment right to bear arms and eventually when the time comes revolt against uh the, the nation in, in they're worried in, that we'll check for them. racism and inbredness no it, 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 what they're worried about is is that like the nazis are going to come through and, and be like all right give me your gun now or um, we're gonna lock you up or, or execute you you know that's it's it's literally like the the most fringe like edge of all reality you know frame of mind it's it's the furthest thing from from happening in in this country yeah. but that's what people are afraid of so that what they think and what they're told by the nra and by other you know pro gun um uh authorities and yeah. authorities right is that every single one of these laws is just leading up to that it's leading up to you're not gonna oh, have your gun anymore so slick what if like and, Lucky Charms or something did that? You got to buy the Lucky Charms. They try to get rid of cereal. No more trying, breakfast. No more breakfast. No for more you. breakfast. Think, buy Lucky Charms. Yeah, tell your kid no more fucking marshmallows in his fucking <laughs> just milk. They're Weird trying to get rid of marshmallows. Cereals. They're trying to get rid They're of milk. They're trying to get rid. Of, and so yeah, it's a good scare tactic, and it and it works because people don't have to look into it any further. They don't have to give a shit about somebody in Texas who just got their fucking brains blown out at a, at a Kroger or at a at a food lion. They don't have to worry about somebody. In a in a school, they don't have to worry about a fucking elementary school student getting his shit rocked, and his fucking parents and or or their teacher or or whoever, they don't have to worry about that because all, all they need to know is that they're going to be able to keep their guns and that yeah. they're going to be able to defend their their little house. Their, their and, but my thing is, it's like 
what's going on right now at this rate every day like every every day it's not because you want to talk about flu deaths you want to talk like covid you want to you know whatever but (laughs) how many mentally unstable people need to have guns i mean truly like there there is a way that all the people who deserve to have guns who who have core values and who want to protect themselves and their families can have them mm-hmm. but at the same time you don't need something that's going to be able to mow down a small village right you don't need a fucking assault rifle yeah you can yeah. have one on your wall you yeah. know it, as I mean, a, like decoratively, I, I feel like a shotgun and like, because you gotta be twenty one for a handgun right. and like, you know what I'm saying? But like, a shotgun is enough to protect your home because you, unless you got like tons of enemies and you out here doing the worst stuff, ain't nobody running up in your home no. like that. You know what I'm saying? I can't imagine defending my house. Thirty like dudes just running up. Rifle. So you, check, <laughs> check this out, right? So you have okay, you're it's in the middle of the night. It's like two a.m. You're fast asleep. You know. Your thumb in your mouth and you're <laughs> drooling on your fucking pillowcase and you hear something downstairs. It's a break in and your fucking, you know, alarms going off if you're rich or or your dog's barking if you're not rich. And <laughs> and you wake up and you're like <laughs> It's time and to you go up. and reach for your fucking assault rifle? What is that? You go and reach for your fucking Gatling gun? Your your damn minigun? Yeah, the- what? <laughs> Who do you think cares about you that much that you got a fucking army rolling up on? This isn't war zone. This isn't fucking modern warfare they be where ready. you're camping in they a corner and you're standing at a door. Combat this is not how it fucking works. It's never worked like that ever. You, the, at most, what you need is, like you said, a shotgun. Get a, yeah. get a bunch of motherfuckers at once with yeah. a spray. Beautiful. I'm that out. is overkill, and and it's the same. It's these people who who need assault rifles. It's these people who are like just gonna be fucking a hundred people coming mm-hmm. for me. That's yeah. that's schizophrenia. <laughs> that's yeah. mental illness. That's who's yeah. gonna go shoot up your fucking son's elementary school. Yeah. Who's gonna go to, go pick your son up from daycare? And by pick him up, I mean drop him off in heaven. Because <laughs> because oh, these are the people that think that two hundred people want to come kill him in the middle of the night, and nobody You're does. So right. Because I feel like any 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 prof- <laughs> any like skilled uh, robbers, they come in groups of four at most. You know what I'm saying? You can't be too loud. You don't need a bunch Home of people Alone, everywhere. It's two guys. They don't know what exactly. the fuck they're doing. They 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 have a signature mark. Oh, they turn the water on. We yeah, all know. On. We all know. All you gotta do is electrocute your doorknob. Exactly. Put some ice out there. Some we we you there. know what I'm saying? Macaulay Culkin showed us how to do it. You know, get real. Get- so, I think it's also shown that like having like long guns is actually not good for protecting your home because like cutting corners yeah and stuff. you they gotta see the gun yeah. Yeah. Also, you gotta put your body out you gotta have out if you got a handgun you can actually defend it better with like more safety yeah that's what i'd have i you know and in Warzone, if i was defending house i would want a shotgun because, yeah, because like, when they get close, you, yeah, you blow, blow, blow them away. That's yeah, kill right there. blow them away. Christian, you play Warzone? I sure do. Yeah, we'll play later. Don't worry, I'll get you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I play that a lot with like my brothers and stuff, and it can be like pretty stressful sometimes. Oh my gosh, it's so because like especially like, oh my gosh, like when you see someone trying to kill you and you try to kill them. Oh my no. I've been getting so mad sometimes. I'm like, no, I got more shots on him. How I die yeah. first? I hate it when like I play with my brothers and like we steal kills all the time, and we'll even like steal loot. Like if you're opening a scab, then you've got like two people like dogs right behind you, and then you open the chest, <laughs> but you can't grab anything because yeah. then they take it. And so that um, I ain't shit. <laughs> I've got the quick pickup on where I, you don't have, you don't have to hold X down. You just tap X. And bam, 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 bam. Like, I'll open a crate faster than you can fucking say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still got to press the button every um, three seconds. So, so, I, yeah. But, like I was saying, you know, <laughs> you definitely don't need some crazy, you like, you don't need an AK-47 to defend yourself. Unless you got down. a lot of enemies. Like, I feel like, unless you're a drug lord, you don't need all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure drug lords need all that because they got people looking for them. But, like, that ain't you, Billy Bob. You know what I'm but saying? But if you're a collector, I get that. Sure, it's cool to have a bunch of cool guns. It is. It is neat. You gotta also be careful and make sure your kids can't get at them. You gotta make sure people that 
are close to you who might might not be all there mm-hmm. can't get at them. Yeah. And, and that's going to be on you if it gets yeah. there. But most of these people who want assault rifles are already showing signs of mental instability because they are paranoid and they are they are just like seconds away from from doing some fucked up shit. I don't know what just happened in um was it was it South Carolina where this where this NFL player ran up in, in somewhere and, and just killed an entire like um, he killed like a doctor and his family and everything and I might, I might be mixing up shootings because they happen so fucking often <laughs> but I mean for somebody to just be able to walk up in a fucking in a doctor's office or a church and just be like hey you guys it's open season everybody run for your lives. <laughs> You don't get a heads up. Like today, somebody, I, I was ringing people up at the register, and somebody knocked their shit into the, into, into the, the, yeah. You the remember little... you were there, and you were like, oh, shit, like, are you okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. Remember how quick that was? Like imagine just an instant. Imagine that's just him taking on a gun. Bam. You can't even react to that shit. If As, I heard it, I'd have came through ready. You I'd heard have it. St- you I'd heard have... it, but you said what you said maybe 10 seconds later. Yeah. You cool. said what you said maybe... Like your life's over yeah. <laughs> at that point. You didn't even get to say, Whoa, what's up, man? What are you doing? <laughs> Somebody takes out a gun, you n- might not even see it. They might already be pointing it at you by the time. They they better point at me first because I won't be the one to stop them. <laughs> I mean, that's what you think uh, until you hear a noise and you look over, but by the time you've looked over, you've already been shot. It's all right. fun and games until they try to get that victory royale. Until oh, they get gosh. that Vic Roy. And- oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Man, let's. I, there's one more thing I want to talk about because we meant to uh, bring it up with Sarah when she was here, and we totally forgot. It's very important, and we're gonna start taking like a. Uh, it's almost gonna be like a survey. We're gonna be taking of all our guests because it. I think it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Personally, me, <laughs> this is like, don't don't let him use a, a gun of any sort or own a gun of any kind because this is like borderline insane and i'll let you be the judge uh, for yourself michael an interesting but, question but lorenzo go ahead and tell the audience and enlighten michael here of how you used to use the bathroom and in, in public and in, in private or because so, you you said it to me like it was a normal human behavior and i i deep <laughs> down in my heart of hearts know. just know that it's not i'm getting scared I, and you should be rightfully so so go ahead now that i've prefaced yeah. it um... so <laughs> uh you know sometimes i'll ask christian i'll be like hey so like i do this or i used to do this is that weird like what's up with that you know and uh so i told him the other day how in high school when i would go to use the bathroom i would like get completely undressed and i would hang all my stuff up on the hangers <laughs> Like I wouldn't let no my stuff touch to the floor. I like had to. Dress. I like secured it so that it wouldn't touch the floor. And now, um, now we get completely undressed. Oh my god! And <laughs> to use the so bathroom. That's so disgusting. When was the That's time gross. you realized that you needed to stop? I don't really use the bathroom in public no more. I try not to. You so know what you saying? do it at home is what you're saying. You did not to die. I right? mean, like when I'm home, I'm home, so I ain't really. I don't know. No way. I'll give you, I'll give you that you... one. That's like your free bingo square. Are you on just this naked one. when you're at home? Like what? Yeah, that's like, why I live by myself. I I can't <laughs> give up my individualism, you it know, because I. Expensive, but uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Naked. I would like roommates at times because it's kind of lonely being home all the time. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I'm I'm a character, and I like to do things my way. Like I like to be naked all the time, you know. And I'm you, always playing music. You would need your own bathroom, is what you're saying? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I think the the weirdest I got when I was a kid was I would take my like the whole pants, like, you know, drop them down. Yeah, that's but every like, kid. Yeah. And then but your dad's that, like, What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> like, just use the zipper, bro. <laughs> and then Lorenzo's out here like religiously, like, Oh, I gotta take it all off, dude. Gotta you know, it's a break, it's a release his clothes are like Closer I mean, are you peeing out of your fucking nipples? Yeah, that's the question. Like, like, are you? Is this for every time you go to the bathroom, like poo and pee, or like, like, is it just for? I'm not trying to put you on the spot. Yeah. This is what you wanted to talk about, and I just, yeah. I'm, I'm making sure we we didn't forget to do it. I and mean, we're um, gonna add, now we're gonna ask everybody every time, but uh, but why though? Why why do you think? I don't know. I just I just like it. It's better for me, you know. So you still do it? 
I do it. Well, like, yeah. I mean, I try not to go bathroom in public, but you know what I'm saying. When I if I if I pee in public, I go to the stall because I t- I pull my pants down. You know what I'm saying. Oh, so you leave the sh- you sh- the shirt stays on. Yeah, the shirt. I oh, lift okay. it up. You know uh, what I'm saying. Now, follow up question. Does that mean you're sitting down? No, I don't sit down. I don't sit down <laughs> on public toilets. Like when I used to do it, I like I like build like a nest, like so, a so, three so layer nest. So, so paint yeah. me a picture. Paint me a picture now. <laughs> Where? Or let me paint you a picture and you tell me if it's accurate or not. I'm a visual learner. <laughs> Where two, two guys, two guys, <laughs> or it's you in a stall. You're in one stall and there's a guy next to you in a stall. Oh yes, I hope not. He's taking a shit. He's <laughs> sitting on the toilet, right? Okay, he's got his pants down. His feet are pointing which direction? Toward the door. Like, yeah. <laughs> he looks over, as men do, if the toilet paper's on your side, and he sees your pants are all the way down, but you're not facing the your feet aren't facing <laughs> the door. So what what does he think's going on in there? Does he think <laughs> there's somebody on the toilet and something's going on? I've or actually, does he uh, I've seen people that sit on the toilet, not like this, yeah. but like they, they turn around and <laughs> No, my gosh, I've well, seen videos of that lately. Yeah, do stuff on the yeah no. it's like, what? It's like, no, I don't just have get enough in there time and get out. Yeah. Around on the, get in there and AIDS. get out. What are you doing? Whatever. Well, that's yeah. the thing, Christian. Is they, they, they're trying to save time by doing stuff on the tank. No. Oh, Multitasking doesn't always work no. like that. <laughs> I mean, I would never do it. Yeah. That's awkward. Yeah. Honestly, I'm definitely the guy that, like, stares at other people. Like, when I was in high school... I would know who is like in the stall next to me. I'd be like, "Yo, Jacob, is that you?" And he'd be like, "Uh." Oh. It's like deathly silent too. You're like you, when you're in a stall and someone walks into the bathroom, you you have you to wait like, for them to do their stuff and then leave before you continue. Like, yeah, you gotta be deathly quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I love the Mekong. It's like bathrooms. a bowling alley rule. You don't you don't bowl when somebody else is you see they're going. Yeah. You don't do it until they let go of the ball, I work, right? I work so at, you hear the ball get let go. <laughs> I worked uh, somewhere at like uh, Parks and Rec department, and so like we we got back from like doing a lot of work, and so we all had to use the bathroom. And I got in, uh, and then the, uh, we were it was me and some other guy. We were walking in, and he's like, he turns around, he's like, "Hey, Michael, I can't go to the bathroom if you go in with me." Like, I, I'm, I'm he, sh- he let you know. He's like, "I'm a shy pooper. Like, I need this bathroom to myself." And I was like, "There's 15 stalls in there, bro. Like, <laughs> please." I was like, "Okay, all right." All right. What? He's just there's some people that have the anxiety of like they can't go to the bathroom if there's other again these are out. the people that shouldn't own guns these people that feel the need to tell you that please don't go in after or oh after my god poop at the same time because he's not, I'm not gonna be able to he was trying to communicate to his friends that's slash crazy co-worker. I don't want to know what you need to or don't need to do you <laughs> yeah, know as long as I'm not walking in on you I thought or... that was so weird because like I said I'm the guy that like <laughs> if I see your shoes I will I'll be like yo Jacob how you doing today and that's like, the kid yeah. that's in the corner in <laughs> class that's uh, Doing God knows what over because there. Because he got called out by Michael. <laughs> Building his bomb. He's like, he's like, you gonna call me out in the bathroom, huh? <laughs> the last the time kid that needs to tell bathroom. you, please, I can't poop at the same time as you. He needs to let the world know that. That's crazy to me. And that is, that's what we should be betting for. Yeah, when he, selling. Was, he, he was a good kid. I liked him. He was fun. Yeah, I'm sure he is a good kid. And all these kids are good. Some of them just shouldn't own firearms. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could get with that. <laughs> they can be bad boys. <laughs> so let's get a definitive answer right now. Is that a weird habit or not? Oh, I mean that's definitely doubt. Like, because it wasn't like he did it. <laughs> it wasn't like he did it when he was a kid. Because we've all done weird stuff when we mm-hmm. were kids. He he mm-hmm. literally just said, "Yeah, mm-hmm. I like to be naked." Yep. And that's why I don't get roommates. You said just now, and that's this is news to me. I don't go to the bathroom in public anymore because. I don't want to have to do this. Yeah, yeah. But that's not to say that you ha- haven't been doing this since every time you've gone to the bathroom in public, you've been pulling your pants all the way down. If I if I go to yeah, the bathroom so. in public, it means I'm it means I'm sick. I got stomach issues. You know what I'm saying? And I'm if you do... have to vomit, are you like ew? All this off? Ew! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! But yeah, yeah. I at least take my shirt off. Yeah. Yeah, last time I threw up, I was like, because you know, you start salivating. I was like, let me take my shirt off and get me to a toilet. You that's know? crazy. Yeah, I would never be like that. Even I, yeah. if, even if I got a little on me, I'd be like, I'm, I got to go home and change. But I'm not. I don't have no, the four. Do fo- just, I don't yeah. have the foresight to be like. No, you just you, your mouth off, starts salivating for you throw up. You get these undies off. You, you get, get these tell, socks you can off. Tell when you about <laughs> that, I don't you have know? the time to like take my <laughs> socks and underwear off, like yeah. and stuff like that. 
Well, well, do you make I a keep, neat pile? Do you fold? I keep all my you socks and shoe shoes. No, I keep. I can't no, do that. I keep my <laughs> socks and shoes on, but I like you know what I'm saying. I'm like, you just, okay, she's right. just like because I don't want to touch the stall. floor. I don't want to touch the floor, so I keep my socks and shoes on. Yeah, yeah. that's rational. That's yeah. the most rational part of this. <laughs> the way that makes me. I don't take my shoes. Hey, like... look, this is crazy. I don't take my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> That makes me more uncomfortable, just thinking that you have your shoes and socks on, but everything, everything else, else like, is off. Yeah, that's weird somehow. Like, what if, is that that's what weird, you do man. at home? Like, you're naked at home. <laughs> you see you say, when I'm of, home, I'm not you wearing shoes. Socks I got on. Nike slides at home, and I just, you know. Like, when you see videos of people, like, streaking on football fields, and they have their shoes and socks on to, like, sprint across. The yeah. Field. And he's like, yeah, what I if feel you step that. On that's something. somehow weirder than, yeah. <laughs> no, what if you step on something while you're running? Because you don't, I think the idea is to not get cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, well, if you step on something because you barefoot, that's foolish, you know? I know, but just the visual of that is weird. I agree with my... Yeah, is it is it weird for you to see people streaking with, with their shoes and socks on? I feel or like that's, it, I feel like that's smart. That's so technical. It's, it's smart, so, yes, but yeah. it's, it's disturbing visually. It's not... Yeah. I mean, like, I don't like to see random naked people for the... You know what I'm saying? So, I'd say for the so most part. So, the question quiet. is, like, if someone knocks at your door, your butt, your butt naked... It's if you like, so, take the time. No like, lie. If someone's trying to get inside or trying to talk to you, do you mm-hmm. take the time to put the clothes on? Or are you one of those guys that like peeks his head to like the side of the door and be like, hey, how can I help Is you? Is that a thrill for you? Do you so, like, get off on that? No, so no, <laughs> so no lie. I'm a risk they taker. They can't see me, but I know. <laughs> If only they knew. So when I was younger, I used to tell people this all the time. I was like, when I get my own place, I'm gonna be naked all the time. That's a big and uh, right there. and if you if you come unannounced, I'm gonna be naked, and that's just what it is because you're the one that came unannounced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you could ask my family. They, I said this. We've talked about it recently. I'm like, yeah, that's exactly what I do. When I'm home by myself, I'm naked, and uh, you know. But like, um, if I'm expecting someone, I'll put on clothes. But if someone comes unannounced, you know, what I'm saying, and I'm already naked, then like. You know what I'm saying? See, that's good because uh, before I got here, I was like, "Hey, Lorenzo, you wanna you wanna ride?" And so, like, yeah. I was he, I co- he called He's me. He's like, "Sit outside, just wait out there." Yeah, and, oh, he spared you. Yeah, he he, <laughs> he spared you. He that, was a real homie. That trauma. That I was like, what's taking so long? But now it makes sense. I was like, he's putting his clothes on. He was eating food, butt naked. My ass naked. It'd be like that, you, you know? Got a cat in there. Yeah, you want me to clean this? Hold thing? up. Like, bro. I mean, your the... poor cat is like. I don't think she cares. Like it's you know, become what I'm desensitized to it. Actually, I would assume she's probably seen it a lot. That's how I sleep. <laughs> this is how I live. I'm like, you know, I couldn't um, do that if I had an animal living with what? me. I would have no trust. I feel like a dog, maybe not, but like a cat is fine. My cat's chill. I fear yeah. they scratch stuff sometimes. She's like, not gonna scratch me. She's smart. She knows what she's doing. Like you know, it's yeah. like that's my child. Though. I always feel uncomfortable. Yeah, even like, thinking like that when that the child's too, yeah, in the room you're... or nearby, you know what I mean. I guess I know I you met know. her late, and you know you're, you're know. you guys were both adults when you guys met, so it's less. <laughs> it's more like she's rooming with you. I mean, like I don't know. I mean, she tries to. When I'm in the bathroom, she's at the door. She tries yeah. to come in sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I take bubble baths and stuff. Like she. She don't see. She gonna see me sometime. You know, every yes. time I come out the bathroom, she right at the door. So like. I don't think she cares, you know. She's probably like, "Where? Why is he putting all those, all that stuff on? What are you putting on?" You know. She's like, she's like, "Why don't you? What are you doing all that shit on for? That's so dumb." I think animals would be like pro nudists, you know. <clears throat> I imagine, or yeah, I guess I some do. dogs like sweaters and whatnot when it's cold, but like. I don't like people that dress their animals. It's yeah. so. Weird. I think sometimes they need it, like, because I think some dogs yeah. get like anemic and whatnot. Well, in winter, like, they put you know yeah. blankets on the horses or yeah. the farm animals. But like but, outside of that, then it's like you know they're putting yeah. like sweaters and they're calling it poochie and stuff yeah. like that. Like I'm like I don't, I don't think I don't you think you know they, they fit in the purse. You I, know those people. Oh my gosh! Like I've always told people, I'm like I really don't like small animals like anything uh, that i could like punt like yes yards, uh, like, uh fucking chihuahuas yeah, yeah. i'll be like yo and they never get chihuahuas never get near you they and just you, bark from afar and, and you don't want to pet them they're kind of like mm-hmm. gross they're just, ass. <laughs> yeah but like when they're it's a ugly. Big, big fluffy dog or a nice you know size kitten you're like oh that's adorable can i touch it yeah, yeah. but when they got like this like 
His little it's, rat dog. It's not even yeah. like a cute puppy. It's mm-hmm. like it's a full grown chihuahua, and you're like, dude, mm-hmm. his eyes are bright red. And them nasty. things be fucking. Them things is out swollen. there. My his man's eyes are like. My man's just seeing into the future. <laughs> he like, he reading right your you, future. Like, look, he look, like, bro, you gonna, he like, bro, you gonna die in forty seven years. You gonna get hit by a car. <laughs> that's why. Oh my gosh, maybe that's why. In their eyes, any dog stay. that I think is gonna sound like George Lopez. <laughs> I don't want anything. Stop. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They made two of those, didn't Should they? Take. Two or three. What a shame. Ah. So <laughs> we're going to wrap up. We've gotten long now. Uh, I wanted to go 20 minutes, but it's already been over 40. So this Ooh, is guys. definitely one of our, I think one of our longer is... episodes. But uh, I'm honored. As always, so Lorenzo has advice to give everybody on our way out. And I'm going to try to play some music behind him. I'm going to try to make that a tradition, too. Uh, let me see if I can't turn this down a little bit and then. So, but you do you have something in mind, Lorenzo? Something you want I, I do have something. Impart on everybody. I have something to, to give to people. Something you know? to give to the people. Something okay. Well. Something for the people. All right. Well. That's a that's a group. That's a that's a I guess they're like R and B or pop or something. Turn this down any button. It's gonna be a little loud. Go ahead, whenever right. you're ready. I'ma just give this word for the people a little something like um when eating out uh, make sure you grab leftovers because otherwise why'd you even go you know you just gotta take something home with you re- relive that experience be like mm, i did i did something good today or yesterday more like yeah but yeah that's what i have for y'all yeah, competing music that's the worst thing when yeah. two songs play at once. I know. Isn't I that like, the worst? I forgot that was on. No, and, and that's fine. And, and good and well. This is just an unrelated thought. And maybe my advice for, for people, never play two competing songs <laughs> at the same time. If, they, if they're the same key, they're the, the same tempo. Yeah, sometimes that's cool it Because it's like pitch perfect. That's like a little, you know, like a, a mix up, whatever you call it, a mashup. I two love competing those. songs is the worst. That's like nails on a chalkboard for me. And, and I... Maybe you don't give me a gun either is what I'm trying oh, to no. say. <laughs> no, <laughs> because no. there would be a lot of dead don't people. Don't come to work tomorrow. <laughs> don't, don't come to work tomorrow. Yeah, I've been wait- I'm waiting for somebody to let me know. Just let me know. <laughs> Just let me know. That's the worst feeling. What'd you say? Leftovers? Something about leftovers? Yeah, if you if you, if you you go to, if you eat out, make sure you get leftovers. I always get leftovers when I eat out. It's like, you just got to, because why not? What? Why not? You got to pay for it. Like, you're losing money. If no. Yeah. No, what and do you it's mean? it's not even good when you reheat what? it. It's why good not? when I reheat like, it. You got to get your money's worth. Like, if yeah. you pay for the whole meal. Eat take, it there. Take it home. No, nah, just well, take oh, sure, a little bit Sure, sure. If, if you don't eat it all, take it home. Yeah, yeah. that's that's common sense. I like Are you saying buy more? Well, they, no. So, need, like, usually, <laughs> so you can take it home. usually there's at least some type of free addition that you could take home. Like, oh let's say you go to IHOP yeah. and get like he'd be staring at other an omelet tables. or something, <laughs> and they give you like unlimited pancakes. Get yeah. get some pancakes to go. You know what I'm saying? Or like, if you do the endless shrimp at Red Lobster, you try. So first off, if you ever do that and you have an eating competition, you gotta get the Alfredo last because the news is gonna fill you up. Or you take the Alfredo as the leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Now that's good advice. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Here we get the endless yeah. shrimp. Take yeah. the Alfredo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to eat Alfredo last because the, the noodles gonna fill you up. Yeah. You gonna be. You gonna wish you never did. I can it. get behind that. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for joining us, Michael. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, we'll have to have you again. Thank you everybody for listening. Peace.